There are plenty of things that Puss in Boots The Last Wish gets right. First, visually, it's amazing, taking inspiration from Spider-Verse's animation style, meanwhile adding their own, their own unique touch to it, like Kobe taking inspiration from MJ. Next, it's a completely standalone story, which, being a sequel, you don't have to watch the first one to understand this story. Personally, I did watch the first one, and man, this deserves the Most Improved Player Award, if there were such a thing for film sequels. Because it's like 2018 Pacers' Victor Oladipo, Went from an all right guard in OKC to be one of my favorite players of the 2018 season. Bro went crazy too, pushing 2018 bronze in seven games in the first round. Then there's the characters, which every character was done so tastefully well. From Puss, K, Perito, the Wolf, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and even the most awful character, Jack Horner. Bro is a menace. Dylan Bush thought he was him. What the film gets right most of all is its maturity. A film about the realities of life and that it shouldn't be taken for granted. A child and an adult can watch this and have a good time and take something away from it. And I think that's what Puss in Boots The Lost Wish gets right most of all. I never thought I'd have a film about a sword wielding cat as one of my favorite films of all time, but here we are. Highly recommend, 10 out of 10.